hello everyone welcome to this video tutorial in this video tutorial I will show you how you can implement yellow v5 object detection model in your local computer so let's begin this tutorial first of all we need to download yellow v5 from the github page and after typing this yellow v5 you will find this and here you can download this so download the zip file once you download it you need to extract it so now I can delete that zip file and let's go inside of this folder and here you can see the requirements.txt let's open it here you can see these are Python packages that we need to install. These are required Python packages that we need to install in order to run this yellow v5. So let's install it. What you can do is you can install this all of these packages one by one using pip command. And you can install all those packages at once like this way I'm showing you open command window at this at this folder and now type pi and the version is 3.9 so pi version then pip install you can run this command or you can run here if you if you have multiple versions of python installed in your computer then you will do like this way pi dash 3.9 which is the version if you have other version of python then you will specify the version here but i will recommend you to use python 3.9 version because in this version pytorch is compatible fully but other latest version of Python, Pytors may not be supported yet, so I will recommend you to use Python 3.9. Let's run this command and download all the required Python packages. Here I have already downloaded all the packages, but if you if you didn't download this before, then you will download all of this at once and it will take some time so you will have to have some patience here once you finish installing required packages the next thing to do is is to run this detect.py file using this detect.py file you can detect objects so let's do it py specify the version 3.9 and detect.py hit enter Make sure you have internet connection because if you're running it for the first time then it may download some of the files since I haven't defined anything that what to detect that's why it is detecting its default default images that's located in this folder in the data folder in the images from here so these images are detecting and the output is saving into the runs directory here in this exp8 so these are the outputs you can see it so I'm not interested in it what I want to do is I want to specify input so source the source argument would be 0 and hit enter this will take input from your webcam but I don't have a webcam so I'm going to use an URL which is from IP camera so the IP address that I have to type here is HTTP colon slash slash I have to see the IP address then I will type it So this is the complete URL for the video that is streaming in my IP camera. So let's run this command. 
and you will be able to see what my IP camera is showing and also it will detect objects so you can see it is detecting objects accurately it detects bottle, ball, keyboard, laptop or this TV monitor or the whatever it is and the bottles so you can see this works very well you can use this technology in various places like in security camera and whatever place you want to use it in you can use it so let's stop this process by pressing ctrl c now i have stopped this one here you can type any url where video is streaming like rtsp url or any normal http url or a video path or how you want, can use these things and other things it's all written in this detect.py file so you can find it from here here zero which means webcam you can give the image path for one image to detect the video path it's the full video path if the video is within the folder like like wherever this detect.py if in that place if that image is like within this detect.py there is the image b2.jpg if i have to use that image then i don't have to use any path i can directly use like this b2.jpg and run it and then it will detect the image here result is saved to runs directory detect exp10 so go to there runs detect exp10 and here is the detection result let's go back so this is how this video also can be used the image the path you can try with all of these options and you can specify what model to use by default it is using yellow v5.pt but if you want to specify a model then you can do it like dash dash weight and yellow v5 s.pt because I'm using this one that's why it will use this model you can change the model name you will find all the model name from the website from the github website where this ultralytix website I will show you that one type yellow v5 and go to this github ultralytix and from here you'll find all the model names here are the models you can try these models some models are larger models with more accuracy but these are slower may require GPU but this time I'm using without GPU so this is so this is all for this video see you in my next videos